Okay, today we're going to finish up Unit 4 with two formulas to help us solve for the area of a triangle. Um, normally we have areas one half base times height, but if we're not given those situations, we can use these other formulas. This one here is going to be for a side angle side situation. And notice the way the formulas are kind of here. You have two sides and then the sine of an angle that's not those two sides. Two sides, but this angle is not part, you know, partnered with those. Two sides and not there. So I try to think of this formula as just one half side times side times the sine of an angle. And this way I don't have to get myself all wrapped up in the A, Bs, and Cs here. Um, so here we are. We have a triangle. And we have A, B, and C. It tells us C is 55. A is 8, B is 10. I can see I'm in a side angle side situation here. So the area is going to be 1 half the side times the side times the sine of 55. This is what you need to set up to show your work. At that point it is calculator work and we get the area to be 32.77 and this is inches squared. Okay, let's take an example that would be more of a word problem type situation. So we're looking to take the area of this um, three cities, or this area in Florida. Again, I'm looking at a side angle side situation, so I know I'm going to use this formula. So area is going to be one half the side, which is 223 times the side of 125 times the sine of 54.2. And again, at that point, it's just um, calculated work, and we get 11,304.2 miles squared. Um, the other formula we're going to visit today is called Heron's formula. This happens when we get a side, side, side situation. Um, and this is the formula here. A, B, and C represent the three sides. What's new is this um, variable of S. And S is one half the sum of the three sides. So we're looking to find the area sitting here. Um, I am looking at um, three sides, so I need to use Heron's formula. So the first thing I'm going to do is establish the S value. It's going to be one half the sum of the three sides that were given. And I find S to be 380. Once I'm there, area is going to be and we're going to take the S value of 380, and then we're going to subtract each of the sides from there. So we have 380 minus 350, 380 minus 240. Um, you can throw this in the calculator just like you see it, and you should get the area to be 18,307.38, and we were talking about yards squared. Okay, and with that we conclude Unit 4. The rest of this packet is reviewed for the Quest next class.